it is time for another Japan crate. And this time, March comes... Wait, hang on. No, I used that joke last time. It is still March, though. Um, so, yes, for those that have eagle eyes, you will notice I put up a video about two weeks ago. Um, the March one was really late for some reason, and the April one's really early now. So, that's the thing. Anyway, in front of us, as always, we have a Japan Crate Premium Edition, which is the... Um, most expensive, but the uh, most packed one. On the side we have their hashtags if you want to be trendy and stuff. We have the four steps to enlightenment. And we have their website that I shall endeavour to put in the link in the description below. As always though, I'm going to delve into this. I'm not going to show you what's inside and we'll continue like that. So without wasting any more time, let's delve in, shall we? I will grab the leaflet. This is indeed April 2019. We have the biker helmet guy and his girlfriend wife. Didn't they get married in one of them a while ago? I can't remember. We have a sakura tree. And inside we have the list of stuff I don't want to show you because that may give away what's in this video. So, as always, I'm just going to put my hand in, grab something, pull it out and we shall have a journey into the world of Japanese snacks together as we begin with this thing Kisa... Kisatsu Do? I don't know um what even is that? that's the interesting pineapple looking thing oh there's a bunny okay we just got a barcode there ah it's Mochi Do Purin yay egg something isn't it um Mochi like Jelly eggs, sweet eggs. Um, actually, yeah, looking at it, they do kind of look a bit eggy. Um, right, okay, let's find out what this thing is meant to be then. This is Mochito Pudding. They're soft and squishy. Enjoy these um, fluffy and soft pudding flavour rice cakes. So, yeah, these are rice cakes, apparently, but they taste of pudding. Now... Pudding generally tastes like just sweet stuff, I guess. So, I don't know, that's a bit of a vague one, but I kind of know what they mean. Ooh, this looks grape flavour. Ooh, ooh, maybe it's not, actually. Ooh, okay. Why is there a question mark? Why does the packaging not even know what's in here? Um, okay. No kashi, na, oyu. Um, they look like blobs of jelly. They look a bit like that fire thing from Howl's Moving Castle. Well, that one does, anyway. And that's really weird inside because it feels like it's a bag of weird squishy stuff where I can't... It's like squishy gel. Ah, wait, is this a, Di oh, this is a DIY kit, isn't it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't think of that. Okay, let's find out what these things are and why they're looking a bit spaced out. All oh, right, so this is Okashi na Mizu Ame DIY candy, and it's all about gel you kind of rub together and stuff. And is that how you spell? Uh, oh, I thought that said purpley. I've actually misread that. Okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of like you need you ned or need or however you say that the um, gel together with your fingers and the warmth of your hands. But yeah. Um, all right, you make jelly stuff. Fair one, to be fair, I suppose. Well, let's grab this. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, is this toast? What? Mini asparagus biscuits. Alright. You've got my interest. I wonder what these are. Could they be mini asparagus biscuits? So, this is mini asparagus butter. Um, and apparently, despite their name... It doesn't taste of asparagus. It's just their fun shape. Uh, it tastes of toast, apparently. What does asparagus look like, then? That it looks like... To oh, oh, I get you, right. So they're actually, like, um, cylindrical shapes. And they look like asparagus, but they taste like toast. All right. Um, well, I I'm up for that. Uh, biscuits that taste like toast. That's certainly an interesting one. Ooh, we have something that's premium. Ooh, is this lime uh, mochi flavour, maybe? Like, uh, ooh. 
Now this is Haichu, Haichu Premium. Uh, sorry, it took me a second to read that. But it is made by Morinaga, which makes Haichu, I believe. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, this is a really bizarre looking um, chewy thing. I, I'm guessing lime just because of the colour, but I could be wrong here. I feel like that's a bit of lime though, surely, right? Let's see what this is. Alright, so this is Haichu Premium Melon. Not lime at all and yeah it's haichu and it's crunchy with a gooey flavour that has a mochi like texture pretty darn cool i do love me some melon so that that is definitely a highlight in my book also i love haichu and apparently this pouch is resealable which is nice because i do find a lot of these packs they're not and i don't eat a ton of sweets all at once so i usually have to like share them out which i mean isn't the worst thing i suppose we have pineapple jelly disc things pineapple gamu or pineapple gum what's pineapple right ame yeah that's definitely ame okay um yeah he looks a very happy pineapple despite the fact he's serving up a slice of himself apparently the middle slice of this guy all right then yeah, these feel like sort of gummy discs uh, in a plastic case, like a hard plastic kind of thing. It's four little yellow discs. Um, ooh, that does look like a ring of pineapple. Or something else, if you want to be slightly lewd. These are pine candy gummy, and yeah, they're gummy things that taste of pineapple. A little bit sweet, a little bit sour, and a little bit juicy. But enough about me, let's get on to the next one. That's, that was a weird one, actually. I'm sorry, I, I apologise for that one. Um, ooh, is this squid flavour? Has Kermit the Frog turned into a squid from its Splatoon? Alright, yeah, these feel like potato chips. Yo, if these are actually squid flavour, I'm completely down, because... Um, I don't mind squid. I'm not like super into it, but I like squid flavoured things. This is Ika Ashi Arare, and Ika is indeed squid. Um, if you've watched uh, Squid Girl Attacks, the theme song is about Ika Musume, which is Squid Girl. Anyway, let's see what these are exactly. This is Ika Ashi Arare, as I read out just now, and yeah, these are fried to crispy perfection. They're squid snacks, so they're not even um, potato chips, presumably. These are actually bits of squid, I guess, like treated in something, clearly. Like, look at that, they're fried and coated, but yo, that's really cool, actually. Obviously, if you're not into seafood, maybe a little off-putting. Ooh, yo, this is the crown thing, isn't it? I can't remember what it's called, and it's in really fancy, um, uh, ka uh, uh, not katakana, uh, kanji, but yeah, I think the um, thing of this biscuit is he's lost his crown and that's his crown or something. It's actually quite nice, the chocolate inside it is really nice, it's like a biscuity thing, well it's that shaped basically. What was it called? This is Osamano Wasurame Mono, Wasurame, Wasure Mono, sorry. Um, and yeah, it's sort of, it's a cocoa and, uh, it's a cocoa flavoured cookie with like a chocolatey centre. Don't be like the king and gobble it down. Although, the king is clearly missing a metal crown, I presume. He's not wearing biscuits on his head. So, either he eats metal or he wears biscuits. Either one is a bit weird, if I'm honest. Uh, right, I'm grabbing one more thing and then I need to go charge my camera because I have four minutes left. Ooh, yo. Choco pie. Well, um, I can probably get a petite choco pie, sorry. This is probably, it feels like chocolate with some marshmallow inside. This is chocolate pie cure matcha. And apparently it's a limited edition one. The taste of green tea among uh, chocolate biscuity things. Which I'm totally down for because I fucking love green tea. Right, let's charge my camera and I'll be right back. Ha! A seamless transition, I bet nobody noticed. Right, let's delve into the next thing. Ooh, there's lots of big things. Ooh, but first, I feel the weird triangular packages we've been getting some stuff in recently. Um, 
And I go on the limb and see the see there's a choco marble. Mini, maybe. Oh wait, this is hi hi chew. What? <laughs> the Haichu Mini? Yeah, well, we get into two Haichu things this um, this episode. I'm I'm incredibly happy. Oh, look. That one's a bit sad. Why don't the rest have faces? All right, you guys are seeing that face, right? It's not just me. This is indeed Haichu Mini. Craving something small, sweet and fruity? But enough of it. Actually, no. Um, the Petite Pack is filled with different flavours, actually, which is pretty cool. Soda, grape, peach and lemon. All flavours I really enjoy of fruity sweets. So that gets an A star from me. And we have next up some Ramune. Oh, ooh, yo. Oh, okay. So um, last episode, if anyone watched it, we had a peach one of these. And this is probably grape, I imagine. Um, and the deal is one of them is very sour, two of them are very nice. I mean, the sour one's very nice as well, but it's also very sour. Um, right, Leah, let me check what these were called again. And yeah, it has a Sono, Sono Manma Grape Gum. So yeah, it's, as I said, uh, same as last month's. Apart from peach, though, it is grape. Sono Mama, Sono Mamna Grape. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'll find out. Or it'll just taste like grape. Um, Japanese sweets that taste like grape, all kind of taste similar to each other I've noticed although I do really like um, fake grape flavor I don't I know some people don't anyway we have long chewing gum sour or soup as I thought it first said yeah um, okay well I don't know is that a bear or has he got a crutch what's happened to his leg Jesus Christ how powerful is this gum this is sour long gum mini cola so is it long or is it mini? Because if it's a mini version of a long thing, then isn't it regular? Anyway, yeah, this has like the shake, pop and fizzle of cola, apparently, and comes in like a chewy stick, which is nice. Um, yeah, cola is also one of my favourite flavours, even if it's the like slightly odd fake cola flavour. Yo, okay, okay, okay. Japan Crate have been up in their game in terms of uh, potato chips because last month we got that hot ramen uh, one that I haven't tried yet and this month we have some super cheesy Cheetos or something or Cheezu, cheese um, I don't know what the two twice as cheesy, double cheesy now I love me some Cheetos I really goddamn do um, yeah, oh, and it's by Frito-Lay. See, now, over here in the UK, Frito-Lay are actually called Walkers. Um, it, they, they taste the exact same as Frito-Lay, but, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to read that then. I was like, yo, what does that say? But it says, she does. All right, well, what's a journey and a half? Yo, are these cheesy Cheetos? I think they are, because I already read it. This is Cheetos Cheese, and yeah, is exactly, and <laughs> gives a bit of history of American snacks. It came over to Japan in 1975, the staidest staple ever since. Cheetos are not that readily available in the UK, actually. Um, you find a lot of them in Polish shops. Uh, we get a lot of like Polish corner shops and stuff that sell like stuff from Poland. Um, and yeah, they're, they're always like... I always go to them because they're the only places I can get these type of Cheetos. We do have the like airy fluffy ones that are a bit like what's it or whatever. But, oh like Cheetos puffs, but I really don't like the puffs. They're just, ugh. these ones though, I love these types. Anyway, sorry, I'll, uh, ooh, okay, are they bells? Chocolate bells? Probably. Take no ni no something. Um... Yeah, well, these, ooh, oh, ooh, okay. I mean, those, well, so are they those, or are they those? Oh, also slightly dented in the packaging, but, hey, it does come from Japan. Ah, it's a mushroom man holding up mushrooms or something. Uh, okay. This is Take no Konosato Cheesecake. And, yeah, it's apparently a seasonal variant. 
uh, that's cheesecake flavoured and is snacks in the shape of bamboo. Um, okay, they're like almond cocoa cookies. Eat one and you'll eat them all. Hopefully, no, I'd like to share these maybe. You know, give one to more than just myself. Um, there's probably six of them in there. I think most of these boxes have six though. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Wow. Okay, I'm feeling a lot of. Yo! Oh, yo! We got a bag of Kit Kat boys and girls. Um, yeah, these are. I'm already going to go on a limb and say they're strawberry Kit Kat. If they are, I've had strawberry Kit Kat once or twice. Dear God, they are amazing. Um, man, I've I've barely even I <laughs> I haven't even finished the tea Kit Kats from February's um, Japan crate yet. Because, you know, I've, I've been savouring them. Anyway, um, let's check out exactly where these are. These are Kit Kat Strawberry. Uh, and apparently, the small strawberry piece is kneaded into the strawberry flavour biscuit. I I don't remember that last time. I think I only had, like, one. I bought a um, grab bag at a convention of, like, loads of little ones. And um strawberry one really stuck out to me as, like, one of the highlights. Ooh, is it oh Kokea Pride Potato? Yo! Now Kokea Pride Potato. Every version I've tried, including like a weird fried rice lemon thing, have been amazing. These are like artisan potato chips. Now I don't know what this is gonna be. That's a lot of kanji. But judging by it, I'm gonna say it's some kind of herb. There's the happy chef man who is making all of them himself by hand. Um, yeah, right, okay, let's check out. I'm going to say herb. Right, I was wrong. This is pride potato tea salt. Okay. It has um, it has matcha powder, which is kind of green tea-ish kind of stuff, mixed in with the salt to create a unique flavour. Apparently eating salty snacks is considered highbro in Japan. Well... Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually a little bit excited for that. That's a really weird combo. Now, ooh, oh, hang on. I thought we hadn't found our gamu for this time. Ah, oh, it's another of the bear gum um, things. For those who are curious, these are kind of like grape flavored gum as well. Um, there was a one piece one. There's been like a Hello Kitty one, I think. Uh, there was a bear one last year. Uh, last year? Last month. There's a bear one this month. Let me just check what they're called. Rilakkuma gum is what it's called. And uh, I, actually, I was wrong. This is soda flavoured gum. So I guess maybe the One Piece one was grape flavour. I don't know. But yeah, it has the Rilakkuma duo. And this is one of. Oh, no. No, they're both on it, actually. Yay. And Kuma, obviously, is bear. Now. I've spoiled the drink for myself because I just read it on the thing, but if you're a fan of soft drinks and Japanese things, you may be pretty hyped for this. I know I am. It is Sakura J Cola Pepsi. Um, look at it. It's pink Pepsi, yo. Man, I genuinely considered um, ordering this like a year or two ago. Just because it looked really cool. Um, you know, I know there's there's pink stuff before, but like... Ah, oh man. J just the fact that like it's a Pepsi thing that we will never get in the West. I can almost guarantee that. Oh, not in the UK. Anyway, I'm sure America probably has stuff like that. But yo, this is a really cool thing. Um, I can't remember if it... I think it actually tastes of something as well. It's not just Pepsi. Yeah, well, let's take a look at exactly what this is. This is Sakura Pepsi J Cola, and um, it doesn't actually specify if it tastes of anything. It just says, have a taste of the Hanami experience with this special Pepsi. Does it taste of it? I I don't know. I want to keep this for, like, a, uh, an occasion, if that makes sense. Also, it's a big-ass bottle. Like, I will give um, Japan Crate credit here. They really are sending out proper drinks now, not just like the little cans and stuff. Which are fine, but like I couldn't help feeling, you know, oh, it's decent value. Let me just check, there's nothing. Oh. Okay, we've missed something. Um, 
Oh, it's a sleeping bear. Oh, Rilakkuma. Um, I already know where this is going to feel and taste like. It's that really sticky, like, um, jelly stuff. Okay, right, let's check out what this thing is then. And this is a Rilakkuma gummy. And, um, yeah, it comes in one of two flavours, either green apple or red apple. I think we got the red apple, because it's red and probably apple flavour. Um, right, yeah, okay then. Well, wow, we've had a lot of Rilakkuma stuff. And by a lot, I mean two. Anyway, I'm going to put everything together, um, and I'm also going to take a quick look at that, just to see if there's any interesting information on it, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. So, taking a look um, at the What's Happening in Japan section, they have the Hirosaki Cherry Blossom Festival, which takes place in Hirosaki in the Aomori Prefecture. Um, and yeah, is that thing where there's like, everyone gathers around that massive castle and watches cherry blossoms bloom and stuff? Sounds really cool. Uh, and apparently it's illuminated by the most bre by the most breathtaking view. Okay. Um, I also have a Mayoko Odori, which is apparently like a festival thing where geisha perform. And the um, the face capture thing on my camera is noticing that only one of those women has a face, apparently. And at the bottom, and something I missed out last month, is a learn Japanese thing. So these are the three f phrases. There's y Yozakura, which is cherry blossom night viewing. There's Kakoyosu, uh, Cherry Blossom Bloom, and Kando Suru. I'm impressed. Uh, that one I recognise because I watch a lot of anime, and especially shonen stuff, and they're always impressed, or shocked, or both. Anyway, right, let's uh, make a flash jump cut to the finished display. Alright, I am back with a wrap-up, and man, this month has been really exciting, actually. It's got some really interesting stuff. The Cheetos, obviously very big on. Sakura, um, Pepsi, genuinely very excited. Kind of thought that was that's what they were going to give us last month, but you know, I'm, I'm glad we eventually got it. Strawberry Kit Kat, absolutely phenomenal. The green, green salt potato chips are a bit of a weird one, but hey, I'm always game for trying stuff. And of course the assorted other sweets and stuff, the very various fruity stuff and the Rilakkuma stuff. Always happy with those as well because, well, you know, they're, they're sweet. And honestly, Japanese sweets have just got something about them. They're not overly sweet, like their their flavours are a little bit subtle. I've started noticing that in comparison to, like, UK sweets. So, yeah, overall, um, a very solid month. A really good month, actually. Um, I know I've been told in a couple of comments now that people have started ordering this well hell if this is your first month introduction you had a really good month i think um everything here gives a good variety i think of like the weird and the traditional all in one um which is basically what japan crate is about you know anyway as always thank you very much for watching and as always thank you very much again this uh this series hundreds if not thousands of views like it still blows my mind and i'm just so happy that you know Y'all can share in my passion of being overly nerdy on Japanese snacks and stuff. Anyway, if you do want to watch um, other Japan Great videos and stuff, I've probably got a playlist there and a random video there. And a subscribe button if you'd like to, but don't feel pressure because you don't have to. Uh, I will be making one next month. Um, so until next time, sayonara.